Hey, what's up, guys? It's Cliff with Pink Flamingo Power Wash. I'm back with a brand new video for you guys. Today, we're going to be working in Carewood, Florida. We're going to be doing a pool deck in the back wall for this returning customer. Actually, I was here a couple weeks ago when I tried to do that oil stain removal, which, you know, it lightened it up, but, you know, it didn't remove the whole thing. But, you know, this is my customer of like two, three years. So, you know, she knew it wasn't going to come out all the way after I explained to her the process. But uh, today we're back, we're gonna be doing the pool deck in the back wall. I got three jobs today. Next we have our pool cage. And the third job, we got a, uh, like 26 pieces of uh, picket white vinyl fence for this um, HOA community. I gotta carry my own water for that uh, for that job because they don't have access to water because it's out in the street. So decent day, uh, we should be done pretty fast. Uh, probably get done working around, give or take. Three, uh, three o'clock. Right now, it's uh, eight thirty-eight in the morning. And we're gonna get started. So this job here, the back is pretty dirty. Um, hasn't been cleaned in a while. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, use the soft wash system to apply a uh, five percent mix on the wall in the pool deck because it's a painted deck, old painted deck. So I'm not gonna surface clean it. So I'm gonna soft wash it, you know, with the chemical. So. All right, guys, this is the back here. Like I said, see the painted deck. And then we're gonna go ahead and shoot this wall. We got all this green on it. A lot of green. And some of the paint is missing off the wall as well. This thing was full of vines from what I remember. They like to cut all the vines off. I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be plucking vines though. Believe that. I'm on here for pressure washing, so whatever comes off, comes off. But the deck itself, I can tell that the paint is wearing off. So you can see it all throughout out here. We're not gonna put no pressure on this deck. Strictly, strictly soft washing it. Spray the chemical, let it do its thing, and then come back and um, give it a rinse with our J-Rod. I got my J-Rod and my gun over there, so. First thing I do, I go ahead and uh, Get this thing set up, ready to go. Be right back. All right, we'll go ahead and add our mix to the deck now. Twelve volt is very efficient. Like I say, man, it's easy to use, easy to fix. The pump itself is only like, I want to say like 200 bucks maybe for this pump. 213, I forgot how much it was. But, I guess the job's done, man. If you want something simple to use, almost like downstream. You could use a software system to wash a house, but you know, downstream gets it done. So, most people just downstream. Every time I really use a 12 volt pump is when I when I need a hot mix, like you know four, five, six percent, seven percent. That's when I pull it out. I don't need to pull it out for a house wash. Look at this little guy. <laughs> so we'll hit these chairs too while we're here.
Okay, so we just got the wall sprayed with that SH. We're gonna let it dwell and uh, loosen up the algae. I just sprayed it, so you know, it's gonna take some time to work. A little cool this morning, it's like 50 degrees, so it's gonna take a little time for it to kick in. I'm gonna give it some time. Let's see what time it is now. 8.53, I'm gonna give it about another uh, five to 10 minutes. Probably not even then, probably like another five, five, five to six minutes. And I'll come back and I'll start rinsing. Y'all, we got done doing the deck. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the uh, the wall next. So this is the deck here. Of course, we know the paint <laughs> is missing. This is not algae. I get some crazy questions sometimes. Like, I don't know how to clean. Oh, it's still dirty. Come on, man. You think I'm gonna leave a customer's house, the property dirty after they pay me to clean it? And it's crazy. The thing is, I got like what over 400 five star reviews and these people think that i don't know how to clean it's wild but anyway this is the deck here you can see some of the missing paint over here too that's why i use my gun and a lot of times i do things differently than everybody else because you know this is my business this is my reputation so i use my own ways to do my own jobs some other people might come out here and put a surface cleaner on here and take all the paint off this thing or make it worse than what it looks like and you know then the customer starts complaining about paint missing and stuff like that so i try to alleviate that and just use the gun and just soft wash it without having to put high pressure on here so those marks is not dirty obviously you know this is just how the the paint wore out over here on this side over here it looks good nice and even but not over there so now i'm gonna hit the wall you can see all the green is, is going off the wall already once i rinse that off it should come off if it doesn't come off i'll just hit it again with the sh it should come off then all right stay tuned We all finished as you guys can see the wall is looking pretty good i got all the algae off of it you know i'm not here to get off the wine on uh, the vines that's not my that's not my part of the deal so 
I'm only here for the algae, the green stuff that was on here. That's it. Just gotta announce that. I know somebody's gonna say something. And then we got the deck. Like I said, the deck is good to go. Didn't cause any more damage than it was already. So look at that. Clean. Clean, clean, clean. I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, before I go, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, knock out these little stones. That's a little something extra for the customer. The little walking stones right there on the way out. All right, guys, I'm gonna see y'all in the next job. I should be there in the next, uh, I don't know. I might go get breakfast and then go there. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll see y'all when I get there. All right, you guys, we're at the second job. Right now, we're in West Chase, Florida. We're here for a pool cage clean. I got this lead from, um, YouTube, one of the customers seen uh, my videos clean the pool screen and uh, they gave me they give me a ring on my email Email me and uh, we got this set up for today. So let's go check it out So looking at this uh, cage It's not bad at all. Really um, They were more concerned about like the cobwebs building up in the corners and stuff like that. So There's no it's no really no algae on here. Really. We're not doing the pool deck at all. This is gonna be pretty much uh, applying the SH and um, giving a good rinse. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but it's a uh, spider right there. So they got spiders all over. Uh, I'm not gonna clean under here, just out here where the cage is, it's a small cage. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think they said um, they're gonna see if they can get me on a recurring schedule to uh, keep it clean because they don't like the spiders. You can see them over here too. A lot of webs. So we're gonna spray it like we normally do. Spray the outside, spray the inside. Rinse the outside, rinse the inside. Uh, we are gonna be just downstreaming this with our SH. So it's gonna be a light uh, mixture. It's not gonna be strong. Just enough to get the, uh, the spider webs to dissolve and stuff like that. And uh, it'll be easier to rinse. All right, let's go. a little bit of dwell time and we'll come back and rinse it it's not that much algae on here so your dwell time don't have to be that long i'm not using a lot of surfactant as well too today i just got a fresh batch of like uh like 75 gallons of sh i didn't put no surfactant in it yet that's just leftover from the last batch so it's not real soapy i like it like that though so when you when you rinse the screens you'll have a whole bunch of suds so um I'll rinse outside of there since the hose is over there already on this side. I'll rinse this here and then I'll rinse, um, I'll come over here and rinse the other side. Yeah, that's the job. That's the job for the day, man. Beautiful day out here. Blessed to be working. I know a lot of people are slow right now.
wrapped up nice and easy straightforward clean the inside clean the outside and she's good to go wasn't that dirty anyway now I can have some peace from the spiders <laughs> I think they said they want me to do it quarterly so you know I'll be back here in a few months again it shouldn't be that bad so if it's most likely I keep it the same price that I charge today but yeah she's looking good all right guys so like I said the next job is a big uh it's not big but it's uh a fence cleaning that I have to do that's on the main street so I gotta carry my own water so I'm gonna fill up and uh, I think I have enough water I brought some this morning to start off with so uh, whatever is extra from this job I go ahead and use it on the next job all right y'all stay tuned all right you guys got the final job for the day right now we're in Lutz Florida we're gonna be doing this uh white picket fence uh that faces the road right here for this property so uh I'm gonna use a six percent mix just to spray it down it has a lot of a liking on it and then i'm gonna let it dwell and i'll rinse it off they have two sides of this fence but apparently i guess the customer's side is on this right side not the left side over there so let's check it out so like i said we're on the main road here of, of this street over here in lutz florida and you guys can see this this fence is full of algae Pretty thick stuff on here. Downstream will clean this up, but you're gonna have some leftover stuff. That's just gonna come if you're doing this. Um, you're gonna know this by experience. When you start seeing lichen, a lot of times you're not gonna be able to get that off. Get that off with a downstream mix. This probably ain't been cleaning in a minute, man. It's pretty bad. So that's, I had to carry my own water for this job. Thank God I got this truck <laughs> and that van I had, man, I wouldn't have enough water to get this whole job done. Get this on camera, make sure they don't blame me for this. I don't know what happened to it. This thing is pretty bad, man. You can see it liking all over. This is the main entrance to the gate. There's another fence over there, but I'm not doing that one. I'm doing this side here. You guys can see over here is full of lichen on this one here. So 6% mix, which is 50-50 on uh, when you're using a 12.5%. Uh, really 6.25, I just say 6%. Once I spray this on, it should come off like butter. We'll start spraying down there, go all the way down here. I'm not doing the back side of the fence, just the front side.
All right, so now we got the fence sprayed. Let's check it out. Let's go back to the to the beginning and see how um, the algae is reacting. See over here, everything is always coming off really clean. <laughs> it just melts off like butter. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. that come right off give it a little more dwell time for this stubborn stuff it might come off a little bit pressure though yeah Just give it a little bit more time and we'll see you guys on the rents. That's it guys. See the fence here, how it's looking? She's looking good, man. Nice and white. Can't beat that at all, man. 6% mix. Let it dwell for about five minutes. And then um, I use my 25-20 tip with the 8 GPM. Oh, uh, I, I use my short gun today. You can use whatever gun you want, but that's my nozzle for the 20, uh, for the rinse, for the 8 GPM. Yours might be a, a different one. It might be a 2515. I know some people use a 2515 to rinse with the 8 GPM. That's fine too. But yeah, you guys can see all that dark stuff is gone. They're gonna be real happy with this. Yes, sir. So I'm talking about, baby. Another five-star job. I ain't been using all my, that much water. I thought I was gonna use more. <laughs> all right, you guys, well, that's it for the day. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hope y'all learned something. You know, if I did teach you anything, or you learned something new, just go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you got any questions, just drop them in the comment section. So y'all stay tuned, enjoy the video, man. I'm gonna see y'all in the next one. Peace.